What's up everyone, my name is Arthur West and today I'm gonna to show you how to export your Airtable base and then import it right into your the.com project. This will have your entire data set natively within the.com and you won't have to rely on any external data or external tools. This only takes a few minutes, it's a no-code workflow. We'll show you everything you need to know to get this job done. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Again, we are going to export our data out of Airtable. We'll import it into our the.com sheet, and then we'll show you how to automate additional entries that hit your Airtable base right into your the.com sheet so you don't have to do an export every time. So to get started here, we have this Airtable base that has a bunch of different Twitter handle data for people that we follow. So we've compiled this base, it has hundreds of records, 200 records about, but we want to get this into our the.com sheet. So all that we need to do is from the view that we're in, so we have this gallery view which shows the images, but we are going to just use this grid view here, you can click this little drop down here from the grid view and you can hit download CSV. Once that downloads, it opens up in a CSV file, which is just a common, comma separated value Excel file. And it looks something like this. So all of our entries have been downloaded into this Excel book. So we got them from Airtable to Excel on our computer. And this is in a format, comma delimited CSV, that we can then upload to our the.com sheet. So if we hop over to the.com, you can either log in or sign up. We're gonna create a new project to show you how this is done from scratch. So I'm just gonna go down to this navigation bar here and hit create site. It's gonna spin up this site here. Once it does, we can go ahead and actually I'm gonna rename this and I'm gonna call this Airtable so I can easily find it at a later step here in this demonstration. So I'm gonna hit Airtable and hit edit site. I don't think I actually renamed it there, so I'll just uh, double check that. But in our the.com project, we have this tab here called Sheets. This is gonna be like our data set. If we hit the plus button, it actually gives us two options. One is to upload a CSV, and the other one is to create a blank data set or blank table, so or blank sheet. So we're gonna choose upload CSV because we already have our data in CSV format from a previous step. So I'll go ahead and choose the file that we just exported from Airtable. It, depending on your data set size, this may take a minute or two. This should be relatively fast because this only has about 200 records. So looks like it's, it's brought it in and just like that, it actually brought in our headers from Excel and from Airtable and it brought in all the data that we were collecting from our Airtable base. So it's all here. All the records are here just as we expect and just as they were listed here in this base. So that's great. In just a couple seconds, we were able to bring everything in and import it from our Airtable base. Now, this, this is great to get your sort of data migrated because Zapier actually doesn't do a great job with migrating a bunch of existing data at once, but where what it's really good for is keeping new data that would be added um, to the Airtable base up to date and syncing it to our the.com sheet. So let me show you how that would work. For in our sheet here within the.com, there's this Zapier button. We can go ahead and click that and it actually brings up this Zapier module here right within the .com. It has some predefined zaps, but we're gonna go ahead and actually it does have Airtable, so we're gonna go ahead and just click add because we wanna bring our Airtable data into the .com. So we can go ahead and click add. It's gonna bring up this Zapier lightbox and the first step here is when a new or updated record in Airtable happens, which is exactly what we want. What we need to do is we need to find our Airtable account, which I just found here. It actually looks like it expired, so I just need to reconnect Airtable and get the API key. Okay, so I put in the API key, and this is where I have to choose my Airtable base. Now, I have a lot of different Airtable bases. This one, as you can see up here in the top, is called Twitter Handles Project. 
So I can actually just search for that and here it is, Twitter handles project. The table that we want to choose here is table one. We actually only have one table. So table one is our table. So we're just choosing table one. Which timestamp field would you like to have check for updates? We're just gonna leave that blank and we can limit it to a view, but we don't need to do that. So we're gonna leave it blank here. It actually says you must have at least one modified time column in your table to use this trigger. So let's take a look and see what this means. Okay, so what I had to do actually was just change this trigger to be new record and air table. It was sort of by default at new or updated record. And with the updated record, you need a time to handle the trigger. But if we just want this to work for new records in our air table base, which is, which is what we want today, we can just choose new record. Once you choose new record, you can continue through these same steps by choosing the base, the table, and then we can actually do a test trigger. And as you can see, it pulled in one of our records here from our air table base. So we can go ahead and click continue. The next step, it actually selects the action for us in Zapier, but we want to connect to the.com. If you haven't connected, you can easily connect. It's a one click connection. And we're going to send our data to our app sheet, which is just our database within the.com. Now, which account we want to use, I'm going to use my account here and click continue. It's just going to set up this action. And essentially we're just going to have to choose our site that we want to connect this um, up to. So whenever this happens, we can create our update. We just want to create a new row. We have to choose our site ID here. This site, as you can see, is called Mud Elderberry, which is just an auto-generated name. Let me go ahead and see. It actually, I think it's showing, actually, I think I renamed it. So let me see here. I think I called it Airtable. Yep, there it is. So we choose our site, which is Airtable. So the, the URL continues to stay the same, even though I renamed the site to Airtable. And then we choose our sheet ID. There's only one sheet in our site and it's table one grid view. So if you had multiple um, sheets within your site, you would just choose whichever one you want this to go to. This is just gonna go ahead and connect here. So now you gotta choose row number. We can like leave that out and because we're just gonna add a new row. So we don't wanna have it actually post to any specific row. And then here's where we actually map the fields from our air table to our sheet in the.com. So we can choose the handle here. If we go into this dropdown, this shows you all the items that are available from our Airtable sheet. We're actually gonna choose handle, which is the at Twitter here. We can choose their name. In our Airtable, we actually have their name. If we remember here, there's their name. We can come back here. Profile URL, this will be their, their URL to their Twitter account. So we can find this in here. Here's their Twitter profile URL. And here's the about, this will just be their bio. So we can come in here, we can find the bio from our Airtable record. I think we have it in here somewhere. Yep, here's the bio. There's all the bio information that's coming in. And so we can just go ahead and click continue. So we mapped all these fields. We can actually do a test here to make sure it all works. We can hit test and continue. And we should get a confirmation here in just a moment that this worked. Sometimes it could take a second, but yep, it looks like it, it was sent to our the.com sheet. So now what this did is we migrated all of our big batch of data. Then we also set it up so that anytime a new record is now added to our Twitter handles project in Airtable, it'll automatically sync to our the.com site so that we don't need to do the export and import every time. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.